watched you break again last night. So I stayed away. Uh, Art in the Park was actually uh, dreamt up by Mo Finnessy, who's a Leamington Studio so Artist member. She'd been to see an event in Oxford and came back just brimming with ideas and enthusiasm because she'd been so inspired by seeing all these artists actually working. She was a member of a collective here, the Leamington Studio Artists, of which there are 380 approximately, and thought, hold on a second, we have 380 artists just in our group. So why can't we actually ask all of them if they'd like to bring their art to the park and exhibit, showcase, inspire and share their craft? Could you see oh it's only ever been you and me? So delighted to be here. It's been a great weekend. Really wonderful. You know, one of the things that we love doing is taking uh, multicultural arts to the community and that's exactly what you're able to do here. Brilliant mix. We had youngsters yesterday from two years old to an elderly gentleman out of a wheelchair this, uh, this morning performing Bhangra. What more could you ask for? I'm still trying. I've got two shows in Art in the Park today. One of them is a street uh, break dancing bin man, and then I've also got a, a semi interactive piece where some road workers create their own road um, and then engage with the audience to try and get them to move through their road. If you look around, you see a lot of people. It feels relaxed, it feels very inviting, it feels very family friendly. And most of all, we're having people who are saying things like to me, I haven't picked up a paintbrush since I was age seven. And here I am involved in making a community painting. I'm still trying not to care. Why do I have to care? It's only ever been you and me Could you see Oh, it's only ever been You and me I can't lie no more I know today it's hard to be pure Let's not at all to be for ways um, We have over a hundred artists displaying and Leamington Studio Artists is again it's always trying to give artists diff different opportunities to exhibit and get their artwork out there and support them in whatever way we can and this is a perfect example of that. You've got art, beautiful visual stimulation, um, crafts for all the children, music, food, drinks, it's brilliant. Great crowd, great atmosphere which I believe is what you really wanted to achieve here. Great time, I can thoroughly recommend it. Not to make an issue bigger than what's already there I know I rely on you being a little bit more strong Why For those people that are thinking of visiting, um, you know, if you want to experience art, creativity at its absolute best in the beautiful surrounds of an award-winning garden in Leamington Spa, well then this is where to come. I would definitely recommend it. It's, it's just been a really great weekend. There's so much to see and there's a lot of variation too. So you can get involved with lots of things, you can buy stuff, you can just, just spend the entire day wandering around getting lost in artwork. And for me personally, it's, it's a good source of inspiration. So to come around and see all these different people exhibiting all their work, it's, it's incredible to then think, oh, I think I'll go home and do some painting now. It's, it's, it just reinstates that, that kind of passion for art that I have. So I recommend it for anybody who wants to find that passion again or just, you know, work on it a bit. It's bro. It's only ever been you and me.